It is my privilege to join you in saluting an unwavering champion for progressive values, Congressman Keith Ellison. Keith's commitment to economic fairness, environmental justice, workers' rights, and women's rights builds on the Mondale family legacy. Democratic politics are the politics of everyday people, people who struggle to make a living, people who aspire to open a business or get a degree or do something more, but who come from humbler beginnings. You know, this is democratic politics. This is what it's all about. He's motivated by fairness. I mean, he is, that's what drives him, whether it's fairness in terms of his constituent service or whether it's fairness as a co-chair of the Progressive Caucus or fairness when he works in committees. That's the driver. He was a person that I learned to know very early. I was working then at the university and had an opportunity to know our African-American students. And Keith, of course, stood out. He impressed me at that time of being respectful and yet challenging. He was a person who did not just accept what was said, but questioned in depth about it. And it seems to me he has carried that attitude, disposition, and inquiry throughout his life. He has respect for people on the other side of the aisle, so he's, uh, I think he's been enormously effective in getting things done, and particularly since he's um, been in the last two or three elections, his focus on turning out voters, which is so important. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, we would not be electing our statewide Democratic candidates by the margins we are were not for his work. In a democracy, that's the power that people have. That's a mighty thing, that vote. And whether or not we have awesome turnout one year or bad turnout another year, it doesn't change the fact that this one person has this way to influence their government. By engaging, organizing, and mobilizing Americans to participate in our elections, Keith Ellison strengthens our democracy and points us on a strong path to deliver victory for hardworking American families. You know, Walter and Joe Mondale are heroes of mine, and I can tell you that from when I was a little kid studying the Civil Rights Movement, you know, I admired Walter Mondale. And, uh, you know, the fact that I've had a chance to get to know him and get the benefit of his wisdom, I mean, is uh, beyond my expectations, right? So, you know, it's really, uh, really a wonderful, wonderful thing, and I'm deeply grateful for it.